all right the room is looking nice i think i made a good decision off that but um yeah so if you don't know we joined ravencroft man I, I i figured you know i might as well choose this one that fit me the most loyal was it loyalty i think it was uh i think it was loyalty <laughs> but anyways uh let's talk to this man here see what he's doing see what he's up to one moment watch this That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. I made a mistake. I think uh, Ravencroft is more, I think it's said intelligence and crafty when it comes to, you know, what they are. I think the loyalty was with Hufflepuff. But anyways, we still got a couple more people to talk to, see what they were, see what they are about. Ah, that is not how that, why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! I want him to be in the perfect place. The place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones! I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. 
And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Okay, so they're going to teach us probably like all the explorations and since they're getting on with the guidebook here i certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when i was a student but yeah so we should be almost through with the the tutorial i guess why don't you cast revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide revelio Field guide challenges. Your progress towards completed challenges will appear here. One way to acquire experience points. Okay, okay. This is your wisdom level XP earned from challenges to increase your level and power. Track your progress. Select the challenge menu to continue. Okay, uh, right there. Uh, so yeah, what's this? Two field pages. Oh, you get some glasses, like some more uh, cosmetic stuff if you do some of these challenges out here. Okay. That's Clever, cool. Isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. Revelio. Revelio. So, reviews. So, there's some down there, some stuff over there. Okay. That is nice to know. I don't know. I'm still thinking about, you know. If I'm gonna add the side quest missions into the the video. No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, so I, I might include them in the video just to show them all. Cause I think they, I think I read somewhere it's supposedly. Oh damn! What I can't let me really let me get the chest. They really don't want me to move away from her to explore yet. They don't want me to explore just yet. What's this? Revelio. Uh, that might be like a puzzle I gotta do. But I, I guess we'll come back to around those uh later. But yeah, so I might add the side quests in the in the in the videos. Ah, good time. Future videos. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Okay. So they're basically introducing us to some fast travel here. 
So let's go ahead and get to what we need to do. So, oh, it divided up in two main areas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Select the grand staircase region, which is right here. Okay. So the green flame represent rooms that we probably we, we already um, got. So we just have to click on that. So the right side of the map, library annex region. Uh, like the central hall flume flame for you. So we click on that. Basically fast travel. Okay, cool. So we got fast travel. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mind if not fast travel because and like here said, we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to central hall. The game looked beautiful. So, you know, definitely gonna do some exploration. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from central hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade, you will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Uh-oh. She asked me, what should I tell her? Because I know the homeboy was like, we, we can't tell people until we get all the facts. I feel like she might be trustworthy, though. Unlike that dude, the black, the headmaster. I don't think he'd be trustworthy if we came to him with the dudes. He'd probably be on some BS. I feel like we could tell her. She might. She might. Uh... He did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins, and I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Uh oh speak of the devil professor fig your ears must have been burning uh oh yes you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spell casting ah i'm afraid i can't take all the credit there professor they've a rare aptitude for magic it seems hmm well i'm just glad you both arrived in one piece Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Damn, maybe we should have told her. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. 
Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like she's trustworthy. I, I don't think I did wrong there. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Sorry about that, sir. Yeah, I don't know. I can't lie to him. He's the homie. He's been with us since day one, so we she might as well. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. All right. New quest option. You can track available quests. Let's see. Uh, main quest complete main quest further story unlocking feature and grant XP. All right, the usual stuff in RPG games, and then obviously, like it says, some quests will be locked that we're gonna have to learn new spells and stuff like that to be able to further the story game mission. That's cool, gets you a little bit to play a little bit of side missions. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. All right. So we got where I picked the charm class. So we're going to do that. Uh, we'll cast charm compass. Okay. So it could give us the right pathway. I mean, we got the map at the bottom of the screen, so we don't have to use that. I guess we could use it so we don't have to keep looking at, you know, at the bottom of the screen to see where we got to go. But, uh, yeah, man, like who don't want to explore this? I mean, fast travel. I mean, that could be later once we explore the full castle of everything but i just have to say this game looks pretty amazing man because i'm trying to remember did avalanche studio do uh mad max and and uh i want to say just cause or maybe just cause but i, I figured I, I know they did mad max and i really love mad max in that open world so i have no i have no doubts that this open world would be good to sister uh i guess you would say the resume first day of class charm class hopefully ain't gonna be no um here behind you no there problems here seat here thank you hello i am netty so you are the new student have you met professor ronan yet <clears throat> shall we begin <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. 
My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. All right. I mean, we, we got this in the bag. We're pretty much the chosen one. We can learn any spell off rip. Let's go ahead and show them what we can do as the new kid. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Eh? 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 <laughs> Alright, what you want us to do, sir? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, okay. uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. At the end of throwing the marbles out, excellent. Oh, oh. Don't lose your composure. My bad, messed up. I can't come in clutch Very good. at the last minute. I feel like they get a boost of speed when you do it. That's it. All right. Not bad. Pretty average. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. All right. Got us a match here. Let's see what she do. She probably gonna get all go. 50s. Look at that. If I did that, it would have stopped at the at the 30. Let's see. Right there. Come on, stop. Ooh, that was on the edge. That was on the edge. All right, let's see what she do. She about to get another 50. Nah, she get a 30. Okay. I guess. <laughs> yes. All right, so we have our two. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay. Well done. Oh, I forgot I can move around. That's my fault. <laughs> she about to get a 50. Really? If I did that, the ball would have moved slow. Like it would never reach 50. It would have there stopped at go. 30. All right. Um, we got to get 50, I guess. Um, we got to stop it at the right time. Damn, I did it. <laughs> oh, Excellent. we lost the first round. 
I let her win, man. That, that that's just how it is. I, I ain't want to show out, you know. I ain't want to show my my good skills. At you Let know. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I want to show them that I'm a struggling fifth year, you know. I haven't been in school for a minute. I ain't want them to start asking <laughs> questions. I think we are well past interesting at this point. All right, how are we gonna do this? I'll say. <laughs> hey, enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. All right, let's do Let this. She about to get fifty. Oh, I think that might have helped. Nope, got thirty. <laughs> All right, let's try this, please. Let me get this. All right, there we go. There we go. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Oh, God damn. <laughs> oh, can we, can we, can we retry that? <laughs> Messing up out here. Uh, like I said, it's all part here of the game. I ain't want to show my skills off rip. You know, I ain't want them asking questions. Like how you learn all that? <laughs> let's see. Damn, we lost anyway, so shoot. We at least gotta score yeah. something. We can't just be out here throwing up a goose egg, so might as well score something. Very good. Cause we all know the computer, the what? CPU ain't gonna do a mistake like I did. And go off the the board. Uh, yeah. Done. She got 50. I knew she would get all 50. That's crazy. I said in the beginning of this uh, of this uh, match, I said she's gonna get all 50s. Not exactly a typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. Come on, 50. Quite impressive. At least we didn't lose that bad of her, you know, by 10 points. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't a blowout. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe I messed that up. Very good, both of you. Well done. Can't believe I messed that up. It happens. I'm sure you could redo that. I'm sure there's like a, a load or auto save that you can do. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. You know, you're trying to build up friendships, but you know, I gotta have my confidence. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. If you're A so word, inclined. If you would. 
Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. You wanted to speak with me, you Professor. Know it won't work I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. All right. So we got that out the way, charm class. I think we got what the dark arts. Way we leveled up there. <laughs> side quests are now available. That is what's up. What side quests we have? Are we? Uh... Eh. We'll do the. Should we do a side quest? So we got some available. Let me look at this. Do, 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 do. Oh, they don't they don't pop up so we gotta go find them instead so yeah we gotta go find them okay that's good enough well we'll find them later we're about to go to the, the dark arts class the Hello. defense of dark How arts was your first day coming along who said that oh her hello samantha nice to see you again I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Mm, maybe I, I guess I ain't do that bad in class. <laughs> uh, but yeah, okay. All right, where were we going again? Uh, oh, defense against the dark. That's where we was going. All right. Let's see. Let's do a little sprint here. We're, we're, we're late for class. You know, this made me want to play bully, man. Like, I mean, I don't know how. Like, I mean, I guess you could be mean in this game because you could be a, you know. Yeah, um, evil. I guess you can have an evil outcome in this game. So, oh, we got eyes here. Oh, so they they automatically know where you late for class. They <laughs> try to sneak in. You can't even sneak in. Oh, they already fighting. Come on, man, you got it. Is that all you've got? Oh, he he's talking. Professor Damn. Hackett, perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent has a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle now let's practice what we've just learned starting with something small all right about to have another spell in our repertoire repertoire levioso levioso
Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. Okay. Tisha's little combat. See how the dummy deflected your cast. Yeah. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprised opponent. Good. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Not bad. All right, so we're going to have some good combo game up in here. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. <laughs> Let's go. Begin. I'm ready. I know I messed up in last class, but we got this. We good in combat. Protego. Should be easy. Okay, okay. Protego. Levioso. <laughs> Look at this man getting him. Let's just say Come on, get up. Oh, block game on point. Lift him up. There we go. I told you we got it. Sorry about your books. Told you we had it. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> okay, okay. Respect, respect. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Mmm. I guess we can could let them know that we we about that life, you know. We 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 didn't just not have combat. <laughs> I guess I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh? Fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned jeweling organization. Oh, word. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Cool. All right, so we got that defense, but yeah, we most definitely got to do that. Um, probably going to do that. Go to the, the, the um, combat one tournament or whatever fight some people the fight club basically in hogwarts so yeah we definitely gonna have to do that you know probably practice on our skills you know work on that combo you know because we definitely gonna need it once we get further in the game but yeah we shall see once we get into that area or once we get to that place to learn